Hi, in this slide we're going to take uh, address the next adjective in the alliteration string of 10 called faithfully. And uh, what I have here is a, a number of uh, sort of belief or faith points. Uh, one of my favorite aphorisms uh, growing up as a year-round athlete was what the mind can conceive and believe the body can achieve. And certainly at a collective level the team or the organization can achieve. So hopefully, based on past video clips that we've done, uh, you would start to be buying into these uh, sort of faith points. First of all, we would have faith that um, businesses have to change the rules or innovate to succeed. Um, you know, the world's changing very quickly. If we don't change at the same pace as the environment, we're falling behind and death will happen. If we're changing faster in anticipation of where our most important strategic customers are going, then actually we'll do better than our competitors who are too slow. Uh, that ties in a second point, which is if we're going to change, it should be strategic, strategically focused. Um, so we don't want to be all things to all people. We want to figure our number one historic most profitable niche and do a much deeper, better job at that. So all of our activities will have some direction and some persistence to it. A third point of faith is that if we're going to significantly come through the breakthrough breakout service value proposition for a target niche of customer, then it's we're not going to do it right perfectly the first time. So we will fail, but we'll be moving towards our vision, our service value equation for that niche, et cetera. Um, and it's, you know, it's going to take time to get ever better at it and to the point where it's an automatic deal. And even failing is a, is a, uh, a continuum concept in the sense that maybe initially uh, we try something and it's, it's good. I mean, the customer goes, well, yeah, I like that. But that doesn't mean that we are doing it as well as we possibly can. We, we can get on a continuous improvement curve for that new dimension of innovation we've come up with. Um, the next point is that the human triune brain at the base is reptilia and then comes mammalian and the top part is the cerebral cortex that really is quite unique to humans. Um, all the habit, automatic pilot kind of stuff happens at the reptilian level. And that's when, when we start to do something new, it, it's conflicting with the normal reflexive neural pathways that are already there. And our brain doesn't want to, you know, waste chemistry. So it, it just gives us a natural feeling of discomfort. So it, it's, it's okay. It's human to, to not believe in, want to uh, do change. I mean, we really uh, have to kind of be patient and take deep breaths, and kind of work through that discomfort, if you will. Another article of faith is that if we can make small uh, bets of very carefully crafted experiments, they will be tuitional bargains. And if we look at the total downside risk cost of all the resource investment, it's going to be a lot less than what we're learning, which has very strategic value focused relevance. Uh, another article of faith is that if we publish praising statements, which include new personal best, exemplary, you know, performers, but also good, smart mistakes. This is the oxygen, not only for group progress, but for moving down the, the adoption curve of, of doubt, doubting, uh, or doubtiness, if that's a word. Um, some people get it right away, have courage, are willing to try and jump right out there. Other people are kind of just naturally, genetically, DNA, brain chemistry, reticent and scared. Uh, but if we have enough structural repetition and we have enough, you know, uh, successful stories that constantly get filtered through the whole organization, over time, everybody is going to find their comfort zone and, and start to get with the program with the herd or they'll, they'll, they'll only move out. We have faith that the devil's advocate is really somebody who's protecting the status quo in disguise unless they can come up with one additional new idea. So I'm all for people nitpicking, but they then have to say, and, 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 plus, 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 here are some additional ideas because I know also that the status quo is not a viable uh, future uh, option for us. Uh, this drives me crazy that if anybody says, we do that already, we can have faith that not everybody in the organization is doing what they're doing at a black belt, high degree level in a coherent, focused, strategic way. 
you know, everybody's doing what they're doing, and that's called we're doing it. We do that already, but that's a far there's a big gap between that and strategically aligned high performance uh, everybody on board black belt uh, intent we have to have faith that if other organizations can achieve these kinds of high performance service results that we can too uh, we have to have faith that if we can identify a niche personified by five most profitable customers and we go out to those customers and listen carefully to the next level of needs and friction and problems they have, that if we can come up with a solution for those uh, problems, uh, that the odds of getting rewarded are a lot higher than if we just uh, kind of willy-nilly did a lot of cool ideas. We have to have faith that when we start to act in the marketplace, other people will see it, notice it, and, and give us feedback for better or worse. And if we keep a very flexible, open, friendly mind, we will wind up finding lots of new ways of enriching uh, the trail that we're blazing, uh, you know, towards the vision. And lastly, I've, I've already sort of touched this point, which is that uh, we will we'll have a continuum of, of, of employees who get it and get on board uh, faster as opposed to slower. But all this resistance will meld away with patient educational structural repetition systems. So that's the sermon on being faithful as we fail forward fast, et cetera. Thank you.